Hi guys, how are you? Today we are talking about the HCP server. We are going to do this scenario or this lab step by step. As we see here, we have four PCs. Each PC has a specific VLAN. Uh, and also we have two, two layer three switch, two layer three switches. And finally we have the HCP server. Uh, and this the HCP server will support or will give each PC each its VLANs. So uh, now we are going uh, to configure. We are going to switch P. Sorry. We're going to switch to yes. And here. Now we are going to create VLANs because we don't have don't show VLAN. We don't see any VLANs here. And now conf T VLAN one. Sorry, VLAN one, it's already exists. We start VLAN two and VLAN three, VLAN four, and VLAN five. Now we are going to configure each VLAN to its IP addresses. VLAN one, IP address 192.168.1.1.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
VLAN 3. Okay, that's good. I think we finished and this is switch, switch SW2. We want to this to, to save our configurations. Now we are going to switch SW1 here. Enable show VLAN. We don't see any kind of VLAN conf T. Uh, also we have uh, change first change its name as w1 and just in this switch we want to create just vlan like this vlan 2 vlan 1 is already exist and uh, vlan 3 vlan 4 vlan 5 and vlan 6 look this we don't need to configure ib addresses for each vlan because we configured this in SW2 so we don't need it's not necessarily to do this in SW1 just we want to configure ports on suitable uh, negotiation like uh, fast interface fast ethernet 01 on switch port switch port trunk encapsulation to 20 q and switch Port, sorry just that's it and exit and now here we have fast ethernet 0 4 and 2 for fast ethernet 0 4 we want to use access for vlan 4 and we here access for v for vlan 2 now interface fast ethernet 04 switch port switch port mode access switch port access i want to carry this vlan vlan 4 for this interface and uh, interface fast ethernet 02 now mm -hmm. mm, switch port switch port sorry access what is that for VLAN for VLAN 2 and the switch port mode access I forget this maybe yes yes now we are ready uh -huh. so we configure the pre-requested configurations now we are going to configure DHCP we want to configure DHCP in this switch. First of all, conf T. We want to create a DHCP pool. Sorry, we see we don't want. We have two choices here. We have maybe we can configure DHCP pool here here in this switch and DHCP excluded, but we don't want this we want to configure DHCP server in this server so we need just here to configure IP address first statically 192.168.3 maybe dot uh, 2 for this because we used uh, 3.1 for interface VLAN now here okay 192.168.3.1 this is the default gateway for it now we are going to configure DHCP here. We want to create uh, four, four VLANs, one, two, four, and five. We don't want to use three because three, it's for DHCP server. Now, server pool, or we can name it for pool uh, VLAN, maybe for VLAN one first. The default gateway 192.168.1.1. We can use the DHCP server 9, uh, one nine maybe 192.168.10.10, maybe dot, uh, 10, dot 10, like this. We are, we are here, we want to just exclude this one, start from 1 to 2, because we want to exclude 
the default gateway address this is very important step don't forget it now we want to use save server pool cannot be modified for edit okay what is that maybe there's a problem here but no I maybe we want to use just maybe for VLAN like this one and 192.168.1.1 dot one default gateway 192.168.10.10 sorry here we want to one and start from two to excluded then we want to use save what is that why so we want just add here like this uh -huh, yes like this now can this uh, this pool one okay okay no problem now um, address pool two for VLAN two one nine two one six eight the two dot one also one nine two one six eight the ten to ten then a server here we start from two start from two not from one because we want to exclude this address now we can use add we add it now VLAN 12, VLAN 4, 192, 168.1, sorry, 4.1, 192.168.10.10, start from 4.2, sorry, 2, now we can use add, the last VLAN, VLAN 5, 192.168.5.1 default gateway then a server here 192.168.10.10 we start from 5.1 5.2 sorry uh, excluded just like add now we are just to want to check for each one 5.5.2 five, that's right 4.1.2 that's good and 2.1, and here 1.1, and 1.2, so that's good, now, okay, here we are going to just configure this to take it by DHCB, DHCB, let's see, requesting IP address, request fail, why, let's see here, DHCB server request and also failed and here let's see here also <laughs> what is that mm -hmm. what is that let's check this uh, interface show IP route com sorry show run we and here we are in IP routing I think IP routing is good let's see VLAN 1 VLAN 2 yes yes wait a moment just we forget to configure the IB DHCP helper because we have here a DHCP server in different VLANs, in different network address, in different summits. So we want to use IB DHCP helper. So in each VLANs, so we have here conf t interface VLAN one. We use IB, sorry IB. Uh, DHCP IP helper DHCP yes helper uh, address and we want to destination IP address this IP address the IP address for DHCP server for VLAN 3 we are going here just to remember it uh, 3 to 2 so we are here to give 192.68.3 to 2 just hit enter exit also interface VLAN 2 we must add this 
address interface VLAN 4 we don't three because we don't need it and five like this I think here we are completely now we're going to five just to refresh it aha I love it now we are taking 5 to 2 and 5 to 1 here is the DNS server that's good and here also just a new that's good and now uh -huh, successful do it too that's good and here yes yes I love it now we finished but before we say goodbye <laughs> we want to just to ping from different VLANs maybe we can see we want to ping from VLAN 1 from VLAN 2 sorry to VLAN let's see VLAN 5 ping 192.168.5.2 because maybe address here is 2 let's see give me some give me some give me some give me some I ah, request time now maybe it's uh, the what? Ah, we can't say goodbye. <laughs> What's the problem? Okay, okay. Let's just to be sure here. One nine two one six eight five to two and what I printed here. One nine two one six eight five the two. Top okay, let's see the four the two. Also here, for the two and then I'm doing six eight but for the one. Let's see here what is this show VLAN VLAN two access VLAN okay and VLAN one show interface trunk mm -hmm. one two three four five six. What is six? We need six. We don't need it. But no problem. Just let's see. Just mod it auto. But it's trunking. I didn't use. Maybe let's see. Conf T interface fast Ethernet zero one switch port mod trunk. Okay. Show interface trunk. Here is we have on. But we can't uh, move from VLAN access VLAN 4 to access VLAN 1. What is that? So it's not uh, common sense. But let's see from we are 2 from 2. Yes, it's paying. Okay, from 2 to 1. Let's see. Okay, it's paying. That's good. Let's see from 1 to 4 to 1. what is that so here's for the one for the two and what is the problem here let's see here show interface trunk mm -hmm. one two three four and five two three four and five okay and the show let's see uh, faster than zero one mm -hmm. and also we are going show one see show mode trunk show interface VLAN 3 there is a problem in 3 the 2 when the 1 the 2 the 1 4 the 1 let's see so you just say uh, here is show run what is the problem conf t ip routing okay
what is that so just let's see here I don't know what is the problem but uh, let's see ping also another one from VLAN 4 here sorry what is that let us use this just here yes, we want to ping from VLAN 1916A.2 Let's see so because time now what's the problem here so let's check it again maybe show IP route mm -hmm. maybe show run ah, we don't see IP routing here so let's configure it maybe this packet tracer it's something strange sometimes <laughs> That's IP routing. Okay. And here, switch to show run. Let me see. We don't see IP routing, but I don't know why. Maybe there's comp T. IP, sorry, IP routing. Mm -hmm. Show run. Now we got here, oh my god, show IP route. Uh huh. We run 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's good. Let's see, try it again. We can say goodbye now or what? Let's, uh, uh huh. Yes. Yes. So we pinged from VLAN 4 to VLAN 2. Let's see, from VLAN 4 to VLAN 5. Ping. 192.168.5.2 See, give me some, give me some, give me some, my friend. Come on. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, I love it. Yes. So, now. So, guys, we finished this DHCP server step by step. We saw every steps we want to configure it. Uh, we configured uh, the trunk just for review we trunk between two different switches two layer three switches and we configured access VLANs here and here and we configured the HCB server in VLAN since the in server yes so here's what you can see yes it's good so have a nice day and I hope this video it's good for you so thank you and bye bye